Welcome to our first vlog, I guess. Or this is more like a tutorial on how I connect my bass to my computer. I've been making bass videos on YouTube for almost 10 years now. And I've been asked so many times about how I'm able to connect my bass to the computer. Well, at first, I started with just a camera volume with the bass sound coming from my amplifier. So I just want to show you the improvement. It's like a short timeline on our videos from the quality of the first few bass guides to what we have right now. The first one is basically just using the camera sound. The second video, um, this is the first method of you being able to connect your base to your computer. I use the converter here. Then second method would be using a sound interface. The third and last one is using a sound interface plus a base multi-effects. For the first method and probably the cheapest is I use the converter or adapter. To connect my bass to my laptop or computer you can buy this adapter or converter on electronic hardware stores i'm not sure if the music stores have it though just connect your guitar cable to the adapter then plug it in the microphone port or line in port of your sound card if you're using a laptop like me you can just plug it in your microphone port and this screen may pop up letting you choose what to do with the device you just plugged in you can just choose microphone you can see here that I'm using Ableton Lite 10 as my recording software. I may talk about more of these on a separate video. For now, I just want to show you the audio quality of your bass if you are to use this method. Second method, we are going to use a sound interface. I'm using a Focusrite solo. This is basically plug and play. Connect it to your computer, plug in your bass and wait for a few seconds until your computer recognizes the device. Check the volume on the interface and that's it. Third, and this is the method that I'm using at the present time. I use my GT1 BFX. I just connect my bass to the effects. Then from there, I use a different cable. I connect my effects to the sound interface. It's pretty much the same setup as to using effects and your sound interface as the amplifier. You can also use this on the first method without the sound interface directly connecting to the computer from your effects. Now let's try to compare the sound quality from the first up to the third method. I'm gonna play the same riffs and I'll be playing around the neck pickup, bridge pickup, and I'll be doing slap and pop as well. Thank you. 
That's it for this base vlog episode. I hope you've learned something. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and God bless you. Have fun playing that bass. <laughs>